So, Baba is you dev made this cursed solitaire game. You know, there's like freaking 20 variants or something. This one's apparently called Council of Secrets. We have to identify 12 face cards based on their behavior. So, okay. Oh, what the? What? It's okay. So, I'm, I'm just messing around and, move and pressing stuff, right? But I guess it, you can select any face card to choose what identity they have. So I just guess, oh, this one is the Jack of his hearts or whatever. What if I try to play normal game? They all change when you try to do normal gameplay. So they all like move around and let's check out the rules, obviously. The first two lines are normal solitaire, but the face cards are unknown and move from left to right in the top slots based on their suit and value. Yeah, I guess every one of them is freaking moving. Turn by the bottom cards corresponding to each top slot. So they have all these rules. And I guess maybe the pictures down here are easier to look at. Jax try to move a lo a a above the next. So the next uh, concerns from left to right. This is considered the next one. But Jax try to find a corresponding slot with zero of that suit. Queens try to move to something tied for least cards. And Kings try to stack on the same suit that it is. This feels like it would be easier to solve if you recorded and like meticulously checked where every single freaking one went. But maybe the intended experience is a bit more spaghetti where you have to look at one card and attempt to track it. But that really depends on how much mental bandwidth you want to stomach, I guess. See, those moved. I wonder if they have a starting position. They do have a bit of a starting position. So, already the first move can try to tell you something. Because, for example, the eye always starts on the top right, and then it moves here. Is that the order of which they come in? Why does why is three underneath one? Hmm. This time one went on here. Freaking murder mystery solitaire. Okay, there's a, there's a rule mystery that's imminent. Thanks, past me. So yeah, the king rule is not correct, but I'm gonna write it the way that I thought it was at the time. To be honest, I've been staring at this, and I have no idea how number one even landed on this position. Man, you could fit the rules text, like, just above there. I get that doesn't have the column correspondence. I also don't quite understand, like, the, the left-to-right logic. Like, is there an order? For example, if it's already at position 1, will it move to the right, looping around? Or does it start from the first when it starts looking? Like, for example, um, let's say this was the King of Clubs. Just as an example, then, because I see two green clubs right here, right? But then why wouldn't it stop on the first one, which has two greens in it? Why would it ever go to this column? I guess I don't understand the zero of its suit either, because if you look at this, for example, it, what if this was the Jack of Hearts, right? That would mean it, it tries to move to a place with zero of its suit, but every single freaking column has a heart. So what the, I guess, we're, it never says it in the rules, but maybe we assume it stands still, but it could very well move to a random place. Um, like, where the hell is the Hempooli hotline where you can type questions and get immediate answers? Ah, suit! Anyway, let's make our first move and see where this one goes. The one goes- I don't know if freaking beneath means anything either, but it's moved to a pile with two greens in it. Let's check out the one again. No, the one moved here in a pile with no greens. I don't know. Okay, it skipped to here, and I didn't change anything, so I believe they move from left to right. As in, they start in their current position, then move left to right, scanning the piles that are- that come after them. But you know, that doesn't make sense. How- how would it know if a pile has the most if it doesn't look at the rest of the piles? Hmm... Also, I believe it's possible to start moving- okay. So it's also possible for some, uh, some of them to seemingly stay in their position, but some of them are obviously moving, like a conve conveyor belt or something. And I see three is moving between here and here. So three is tying for something. Hmm. Are there any ones that are on a three cycle? No, I think X, the X moving is uh, always moving to the right somewhere. One by one for some reason. Okay, I think we can actually narrow down three now. I mean, the this one. Because the piles here and here both have no greens. They have no clubs in it. So that means it's the Jack of Clubs. It looks for where there's zero clubs. Now, why does it seem like X is moving in anywhere it freaking wants? Lol, anywhere I want. It's not even skipping um, the ones that I'm moving or whatever. X is probably like a King of Hearts or, well, 
Hmm. I think it's the King of Hearts. Wait, that's most. I. No, I mean, no, I didn't mean King. I mean, it's a tied Jack or something. I haven't seen it skip this one yet. And if it doesn't skip this one, that means it's not the Jack of uh, Spades, the blue one. Because otherwise it would, like, it would try to go, well, hmm, I guess if it's going every turn. You no, know, if this was the Jack of Spades, which means no blues, it would have definitely went here way more often. Okay, I think it's the Jack of Hearts here. But it's odd it doesn't stand still, maybe. All right, let's uh, check out one. I feel like there should be, like, I guess they're ready at the- oh, right, that's <laughs> it's the confirm. But I wish there was a way to, like, select, like, highlight where it goes. Make it more clear or something. So, clearly I is going here. Then it skips to here. It can, it's also valid there. Then it skips over here. Is it tying for blue? That's probably it. Yeah, the- every single- place that the eye is going is a column where there's only one blue. Right, so you're a queen of spades. All right, let's check out um, some of the other ones. Uh, I guess let's follow IV. IV is also going between a lot of stuff. IV here, here, here. Where the hell did it go? <laughs> it's here, right? Okay. And here. IV is going almost everywhere. Here. Except the last row. Hmm. I'd say diamond, because every one of these columns... I love how I'm using column and row interchangeably. Again, I am geometrically impaired. I have no idea what IV could be. You know what would be really cursed is... For example, if the rules only counted the group of the visible bottom most suit. I'd rather not think about that, because that's so spaghetti. As I've been operating under the idea that it looks at every card in every pile. So I'm gonna feel like a timer, like turn timer or like actual timer would be more thematic for a freaking murder mystery theme thing. Like just being able to do this is very odd. So I imagine maybe this is not r that reasonably feasible, like very unlikely, but imagine like doing all the works to figure out these and then the solitaire is impossible. <laughs> I don't freaking know what Ivy is, so I'm gonna just gonna look at some different number. What is number two doing? Number two is staying the same. There sure seem to be three where they don't change where they are. I guess those would all make sense as kings, right? Because I see that they have the most. Um, like this row, <clears throat> I mean column, <laughs> has the most diamonds. This one has the most clubs. And this one has the most spades. So th therefore they're all kings. King of diamonds, king of clubs, king of spades. But shouldn't there be a king of hearts somewhere? What? There's... There's two rows with more than one heart, so I'm surprised there's nothing alternating between them. Wait, no, I accident. Oh no, I accidentally broke my infinite. No, wait, it's fixed. There. <laughs> it seems like every other one, almost every other one, is on a similar conveyor belt. Maybe we should just play solitaire for now. It's also an easy version, of, easier version of solitaire, considering you can stack things in opposite order too. So we got a ten there, nine. I'm not- obviously I'm not focusing on the top anymore, so now- Oh, huh. Why are the- Why would the kings be- Uh-oh. <laughs> what is this nonsense? Like, this is, has the most diamonds on it, so it should be for- There should be something that's always on it, but there is not. Where the hell is the king of diamonds? It's not possible for, for there to be multiple kings of clubs or something, right? And meanwhile, the king- The supposed king of clubs is nowhere to be found. Why is anything looking at an empty suit? And the thing that I had said was the King of Spades is now doing something more like a Jack of Diamonds. Where it's going to a place with no diamonds in it. What the hell? Cursed solitaire behavior. Alright, I mean, maybe with fewer cards it'll be freaking easier. I don't know. 9, 8. Oh, right. Same color doesn't work here. So, 7, 9, 8. Now VI is hanging around this as if it's the most hearts or something. But surely that King of Hearts is not going to be real. It's going to be some troll. That Queen of Spades still looks correct, though. That Queen of Spades is still hanging around stuff with only one spade. The thing labeled King of Diamonds just looks like a freaking Jack of Hearts for some... Why? It does allow multiple Jacks of Hearts. What the? Um, let's go down. Oh, shoot. I can do this, right? Go here. Get an ace. Five. Ace. Two. Just, just put stuff in. Maybe uncomplexify this position. Five, four, three. Okay, looks like we can drag these this two in here. Move this three, five. He is seven now. We should just like go here and put this four down. How is this King of Hearts accurate? Is there some rule where it has to move away? Or like I don't understand the standstill rule. If the king is looking at some other freaking things, then it can't be the King of Hearts. 
Hmm. You can auto stack. So that, that's a button again that you can press to automatically bring cards over here if, the, if you can. We got a five, seven, we got a two, three, four. Okay, so you don't want to auto stack too hard because you might run out of ways to test for these. Once again, the king of clubs seems to be doing its own freaking thing now. I think the queen of clubs would be hanging around these. I think this is the freaking old, old CBA. Anyway, it seems like this is the queen of clubs. It's been hanging around the ones with one club too long. And having two of the same jack of hearts, like, it's it adds confusion as to which jack of hearts even moved where. Uh, but freak, I gotta anonymize this now. Nice anonymous. And where the hell is the queen of diamonds? It's some, Queen Diamonds would be moving around these last three columns over and over. Why in the hell is this thing... Hmm... Okay, watched it back and the thing I labeled King of Hearts happened to have only one diamond in it. Amazing imposterinizationism. <laughs> okay, like, I didn't- I don't know. I didn't understand the conditions of when something would stand still. So that is what spaghettified me in some aspects. So then this is a queen because the Queen of Hearts. Probably, <laughs> unless something manages to do this, but it should be the Queen of Hearts. The Queens have not failed me in terms of what they were. It's been the other ones that are a troll, so we need to undo that because that's not the King of Clubs. But then what is? Queens are doing a better job than the freaking Kings as to finding the freaking most of its suit. Oh my, oh my god. Okay, okay, I guess Kings don't actually count for the most after all. So that's why Kings and Jacks kind of acted very similar then. Okay, so then V... If you follow V, it's going here, here, it goes here now, whoops, it goes here, and here. V is, god damn it, V is right here. Um, so V is always on a place with a green. And since we didn't even mark the king, we know that's the king of clubs. Okay, okay. And then IV is iterating through all the diamonds, so that should be the king of diamonds. The, the only problem is the potential of coincidental friends. I mean, it's, it's sure following the king, uh... King of Diamonds when it comes to that point. XI seems to be going for the things with uh, a spade in them. I think this, this is a totally sensible thing for the King of Spades to be doing here. It's going here. It's going here in response to my spade move. Meanwhile, it skips over if I don't do anything with it. Alright. X appears to be the King of Hearts because it's going on only the hearts here. King of Hearts. And that should mean the remainder is the Jack of Spades, because it, it's also trying to avoid the, the spade that I keep moving. Yeah, okay, here it is. Well, I think it's like keeping track of where what goes where actually seems quite easy, except for the red herring stuff that is potentially possible. So, we're gonna put these in manually, just to be a little bit careful, in case there's some clear impossibilities, but... Queen staying where it is... Queen Diamonds is going on to this, which seems good and accurate. Only the Jacks are the ones that are occupying empty slots. Feel good about this. Ready. There we go, victory. <laughs> okay, that... Okay, so yeah, sure. I think a timer would improve that one or something. Anyway, next one. This is where the Bob is you dev wants to be like Bellatro. Babatro. <laughs> let's, right, let's take a look at it. Of course. I, got, I saw a screenshot of one of this. This is why I... <laughs> no, so wait a minute. Hmm, is it hard to make it? Because... Oh, that gets stuck in there? Oh, wow. We should check out the rules. Okay, cards are stacked normal. A uh, single card can be placed after this, it can't be removed. Once all five slots are full, the cards in them are evaluated like a poker hand. Only the best possible hand is considered. And points are rewarded as the sum of the values classic chips. Uh, hmm. The given hand has already been awarded. Oh, what the... We don't need points for each other. Okay, so it's like Yahtzee in some way, too. So points are awarded as some of the values. I'm not sure what that is. Six, okay, so six and six, that adds to 12. So only the sixes are included in this example. Wish there was a button to freaking cycle through examples or something. But, okay. With this Queen of Diamonds, I mean, I'm probably going to reset, but because there's a specific one for Royal Flush, um, and the goal is 240. If I decided to make some sort of flush or regular full house with the queen, then I'd be basically ruining my royal flush chances on that suit anyway. I do almost have a straight flush around there though. I mean, this is a high enough pair, but we probably want to leave pairs and such. Wait, you can stack 10 and 9 on the same? Uh huh. Interesting. Hmm, so we're gonna do a full house with queen, queen, 2, 2, 2, since there just happened to be here. 
Wreckers, <laughs> lol, okay. Full house. So, that was counted as 30 because 10, 10, 2... But 10, 10, 2, 2, 2 is 26, not 30. Um, so I guess queens count as 12, alright. We can get this jack of clubs, we can get a straight flush down here, because we have 10, 9, 8, queen. Hmm. Can only use the standing order, and there are situations like this where things get a little bit awkward. I'm pretty sure I have to sacrifice something, although we have high card. High card is best on ace, but of course it's a little bit wasteful. Okay, I don't really know what to do. We have threes in here. Might as well do that. I don't see a better way to break through this. Can ace stack on king? It cannot. I don't want a seven to bridge this gap. I can put the queen there, I suppose. But we need a nine to make this better. Okay, we have five, six. We can put the ace here and then get two pair with threes and fives. I have a bunch of eights, but I thought I wanted to keep one of the eights for the straight flush that I want to make. But we have a full house of ten stuff right here. Okay, hold on. I actually see there's, um... So we have a flush capable here. And then we can, like, this digging down here even gets us some sevens, which is nice. But here we go. Yes, that ruins the royal flush on this one. Oh, shoot, I spent a bunch of queens on the full house, um, so... Maybe at the end of this, it'll tell me how much a machine could have done better, since the thing is fully deterministic. Ugh, I don't have a... The straight flush is not satisfying anymore. I guess we never use jacks, so the jacks could do the go for the four of a kind. And what do the friggin' eights do, huh? I guess we're just using the eights for... <sighs> for what? We, I'm pretty sure I need to use the eights now because I got myself trapped in there. We're digging for the jack, so I guess I need to do this and unsatisfyingly use some of these. That's the pair. Our queen was more accessible. I could go for a straight as well here. Maybe that should have been the three of a kind because I could. I, I have the queen of clubs and the king of clubs, which. Ugh. Maybe could have gone for the higher straight flush there. And now it just seems like I'm going to be using these. Ace, King, Queen, Jack, and some other 10. Nines will also ruin my four of a kind, uh. Well, that's a straight. I just use the Queen of Club. 10. Oh my god, um. We have the 7, so. Oh my god, that was awful. <laughs> I didn't mean to use that Queen. No, wait, I, I, I did. That's right, because there was no other choice. I was also sad that I couldn't use the King either. So I can do that. I can at least do that. Try to 9. If only I could stack the ace, then I could be able to play this hand. I think I screwed up, but I can only play this as a high card. Oh my god. Alright, this that's... <sighs> you just know that there's some strategy where trying to refresh until there's like a royal flush that's very close by is, you know, optimal. <laughs> mm. uh, Jack is far in the bottom of this one. It's very annoying that I can't stack ace king. Like, come on. Well, like, maybe it's better to not have a good hand at the bottom, or at least have them nearby, because something on the bottom of a stack and the four other cards does not make for a good hand. And I have something 7, 6, 9, if I have 8, but 8 is far in the bottom of that. I don't know, goal incentivizes freaking reset behaviors. King 10 at the bottom of this in clubs. Maybe just do this. Not a lot of AK cube, but do you want that in a straight? I have Diamond's Royal Flush pretty close. Oh, maybe... Also worth pointing out, there's 10 hand types. Uh, 10, 5 cards each means 50. So I think... So, if you want the best score, you can't, you can't overwrite because you only have 2 remaining cards of leeway. And honestly, if you want to be even more optimal, you might want to organize a deck of cards for the optimal setup before you even start playing. So that 7 down at the bottom is a huge pain. So got a bunch of 4s, maybe want to get those in similar shape. Yeah, we have so many 4s early on. 4... Four. Do we get rid of the sevens, I guess? Because there's nothing to pair them up with. There we go. Now, remember, we want that diamond's royal flush. There's a six down here. Maybe we dig it down. We aimed three of a kind with tens. Maybe that's too far in the trash bin. Let's put it in the two, and we're going to throw whatever hand that involves the two away at some point. And the ten can be fine for now. We can entirely open up this pile. There's an eight here and another two. I imagine there's not much will for the twos and threes to live. Okay, I think I need to... I don't know what the, where that eight's going, but I can't fit it in. Okay, I think I want ace high straight that I can do. I'm a bit worried if I can do it, but... We're trying not to touch the diamonds here. If we want to make a straight involving this stuff. Grab the other king. And this stuff. And grab the ace from here. Okay, there's a straight of 60 points. We got a 9. First of all, let's do the revealing of cards. Hmm, no 7 here. What a bunch of 6s and 5s. Do we take care of those? 6s could be my 4 of a kind. We need to dump the 6 at some point, right? Ugh. Hmm. 
So six five five six three. Okay, we can clear out this pile. There is a uh, here, here, here. But this is not locking me away from getting some of these diamonds. That makes it more annoying too. Funny that putting things in piles makes straights easier. Maybe we should make a clubs, uh, not clubs, spades thing. We're about to run out of spades, and there are some high-scoring spades that are hidden beneath here. The real question is the number that I haven't ruined. I have not yet ruined nine. Nine is still available for four of a kind, but it's on this big pile. Why must I need think about this stuff without undo button, Hempuli? Seriously, I might as well just play this freaking game in an image editor if I'm not going to be able to undo in the actual game. <laughs> You know, I thought I accidentally ruined my straight flush chances, but I actually still have one in hearts. Uh, Jack, 10, 8, 9, 7. Help, I lost track of the solitaire. Also, what the hell am I talking about? I can't make the straight flush because it involves the 9. Welcome to the shucks game. Well, anyway, uh, I re this is the thing I was going to do. Oh, well, time to make the freaking diamonds based straight flush. So that's 10. I do a little bit of a jack switcheroo here. 10, jack, queen king ace woo so that's 60 well i guess with no four of a kind plus straight flush i can only do nines of three of a kind which is not that bad anyway i'm gonna bring all this stuff here we need to dig down into this pile so we're gonna basically trash the things that are here the six also goes and i guess the four as well as that's what I planned. However, that doesn't actually do anything. There's no point benefit. I just need to get rid of the cards. So let's get the ace, queen, king. We are trying to go for the spades based uh, thing here. So spades based flush 52. I'm just wondering if I should set up a three of a kind right now. This is probably the time to do it. 10 not, oh my God. I have a straight flush in <laughs> the clubs as well now that i planned for it oh if only could actually score for two straight flushes all right let's just put the freaking five and the nines that are not clubs into here i guess the three is also useless so vic what victory okay, okay. <laughs> if that made me quit to the freaking <laughs> now that would be incredibly dumb uh but thankfully it's not that way so i guess here here get the 10 doesn't really matter what that other is. That's high card, though. Wait, an ace counts as 14. And king, queen, jack, 10, 9. So that's 320. Uh, unfortunately, no four of a kind, but hey, there you go. 320. Shh. Imagine having high scores in solitaire. Mega tear. What if solitaire, but big? Eight suits instead of the usual four. But you can <laughs> play with a standard deck by combining two decks with different enough illustrations. You know, I can't say I'd recommend shuffling two full decks of cards in each other. It gets quite spaghetti fast. But sure, let's see what this is. Great, we've invented new suits. And apparently ace the these start with one already in them. Let's check the rules. So the first two seem pretty normal. Middle slots the setting order. You can also stack cards of the same value, but you can't pick up cards stacked together like that. There are two three slots that can hold one card each. Well, each, well, one of those slots is holding a card suit. Specific slots underneath can't be used. I don't understand. Hmm. Three slots. While one of these is holding a card, the slot specific... The suit specific slots underneath. What? Three? Three slots on the right that can... Where, what three? What in? What on the right looks like three to you? Suit specific underneath. What, what, what by underneath? So if I do this... What? Why is it put there? It's put in the midsection? Okay, weird, weird, okay. What? Okay, so that's a weird way to phrase and do stuff, but that's pretty interesting, right? And also if I put it there, it will act kind of like that. So it, it disables the win piles when you have a pot, when you have put a card on top of one of the four. Wow, wow, interesting. Threes can be stacked. We've got the five of triangles. We need to offload this 12 and 11, but I think we can do such a thing. We want a 9, though, to get to one of these 13s. I also love the 3 of pawns. I love pawn from chess battle advance. Hmm, can we really rescue the situation, though? We got 6, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Wait, no, no, that's the same suit, no! Hmm. 8, 7. Can we fix the same suit issue or I'm just gonna get scammed the whole time? We need to dig down into this, though. 7... Six. Damn it! Where's the nine? Yes, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm getting so trolled by my own actions at the start. Fine. We'll, re we'll reset. Okay. 
So we have nine, eight, three. Hmm. Got a 13 here. It's nice to have a 13. This time a five is the thing that's annoyingly missing. Let's, okay, let's spend these slots so that we can do six, five, four, three, and can fix the nines issue. Love how freaking, they, they don't, they use Roman numerals, right, in freaking previous levels because the numbers are too cursed and confusing to have a number 26, but then they change it up so that now we don't have kings and queens and jacks. But aces are fine, even though it looks like triangles from down below. Okay, so we have six, we can put that on top. Oh, we have an ace, so we can put it on there, but of course we had to move it around so that it didn't block it. Nine, eight, we want seven, but we don't have the seven. We, we probably have to use that same number trick. 11. 8. Hmm. But actually, shoot. Uh, we wanted the 9 to be on top of the other 9, right? That's a good way to simplify. Hmm. We got a 13. It's nice to give a 13. If only we needed... We, we need to get a 12 to have the 11 stack well on top, though. Hmm. Probably split this up, except we can't do that easily. Or maybe we dig down beneath for now. Is it good to get rid of this? We have a two. Fine, we'll 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 stack this on top. Hmm. Two. Ten. Also, we haven't been using the top of that pile. Um, because I suck. Eight. It's nice to have a heart in there. We can stack the eight and the two and the eight. Uh, uh, sure, at least it gives me the option to put it in the center, I guess. Okay. 10, we can stack another 11 on there. 7, 2, 10, 5. We have, we have completely opened this pile. Is that good? I don't know. There's a lot of duplicates stacked. Hmm. And the two hearts is... No, 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 it isn't. Where's the two hearts? All the way back there. Hmm. We really want to look for the twos and their correspondences. Like, here, I just want the, the two there. Except we have to rearrange the color ordering so we don't have the duplicate problem. <laughs> Ugh, this is a, such a spaghetti pile. Actually, I feel like one of the, we should start one of these empties with a 13. But wait, isn't it so good to have multiple empties? Hmm. I want to get those 13s out of there and then start digging down. I'm just going to select arbitrarily this pot. No, wait, we can't select the mid pile for the 13. That's right. So then it has to be a sacrifice of an empty. Hmm. So a lot of low numbers in the other pile, though. So, okay, let's go down here. Stack the 13s. We got 8, 7. Bunch of number annoyances, but we can clear those. We can actually put use one of the empty, uh, one of the three slots here to help get these numbers here. Now we have another 13. Three. We can use this three. Put that there. Uh, there's no good place for the 7 because we don't have an 8 that's lying around. Hmm. This 10, 10, 9, 9 is a bit annoying, and I wish we could stack. Nope, same color, damn it. <laughs> okay, now with, with the 7, we actually can fix it up. I would like to dig further down this pile, though, so we could get the 11 in here. I don't know if that's reasonable, though. Hmm. But anyway, we seem to have an ace here, which is good. Ace 2. 12. I still have a 12, but the other 12s I would like to stack on top of this. Wait, same suit, damn it. Ugh, whatever. We have this 3. 4, 3. 4, 3 actually works down here. I gotta love these imposter 9s and 8s looking the same. Mm. 7, another 9. 9, 11, 11. So the 11s can be stacked here. Gosh, I, I'm, I'm just worried the duplicates are gonna start causing problems. And we still want a place to deposit these nines, but we are close to emptying this pile, which should be a good thing. Eleven can stack on the same number. Hmm. Okay, here we can do nine, eight, in hopes of completely clearing this. Stack the four and the three. There we go. Okay, so we managed to open another pile, but there's a lot of duplicate nonsense. We can do like seven, seven, seven to get the eights. But is it a good thing to even separate these eights like this? Also, we have the two of triangles, that's right. <laughs> can I not hover over? Wait, I thought there was a hover effect. 
What? Great, so now I can't see which of these are eights and nines. Okay, I here. We're just gonna put these sevens here. This is so, so awkward. Eights go here. And then we can fill the nines in between. Then then put the sevens back. So now we have two empty piles. And now maybe we can consolidate the stuff here. Uh, because like we have eleven but we have elevens in, in that pile that we couldn't have dealt with unless we can fix it up. And, Still, we want these all in the same pile, so we're just going to get all the threes in the same. Fours. There are more fives here. And there's a six, six. Let's try to open up this pile. There's a two of hearts in there, so maybe that's the reason why I want to do such a thing. Six. Not the same color, because very rude. Nope. Seven. Nope. Nope. No, no, no. Same color. Different colors. But we've got nine, eight. Not very useful numbers we can fix this five up yeah all right we get the fours and three uh no get that five stack there we go all right can we start digging into here now we have 12s though quite an annoying number to see but we can actually fix it up with 11s of course that's kind of why we did it uh, but if i put the 12s now the 13 is going to be hard to to try to fit in but oh well we do need to drop this in here I see a bunch of fours, so put that four there. It'd be nice to grab the whole stack in situations like those, but that is a balancing freaking measure that you can't do such a thing. Put this on here, and now I want to get a three. There we go. Get these threes off so we can put this four in here. Wait, we have a two. We have a two of pawns, so we can put that there. Yeah, okay. And there's even another five that I can put all these fours in. So we can do four, 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 three. <laughs> we totally don't have a readability issue right here. Uh, but we have a bunch of 11s. We can put a 12 there. 11. Now we have an ace. So uh, let's free up the threes. How, how few pixels are they going to freaking put in there? So now we can finally start the ace. Uh, ace of moons, rather. Got some more 12s. So move the 11s. In order to get the 12s going. Got the ace here. Uh, I think I wanna I wanna integrate this four into this. So there we go. Got it. Oh god. Okay, so we actually have we could put that in in that two, which is good. And the three. But more importantly, I wanna consolidate the 13s into here. So 12s all go here. Luckily, with so many suits, there's almost no reversing nuance where the last thing, like, has a duplication problem. Duplication as in, um, has the same suit problem where we can't stack it because of it. Alright, six. Now, uh, good luck, have fun on the rest of it. I'll probably put these 11s here to open up the slot. Now we have the two of triangles working out. Now, where the hell is the one with the two of spades? I guess we'll put that nine there for now. Okay, we're just gonna try to break open this pile. Except, aren't the lower numbers there? Hmm. So we have a bunch of fives on this. Maybe we'll open this one up for now, because there's like we can take account of these a little bit easier. Five, 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 six. There's an eight and a thirteen. So now we can see there is no two of spades in this pile. So let's undo all that work now. So I can dig down this one instead. It's like Tower of Hanoi. <laughs> It really does feel that way. Hmm. Are we gonna have room to... I guess we do have room. Just put, fit the 10s here. And now the 11s can fit here. Two of spades is nearby. Got a 9 as well. Hmm. Maybe we start this pile off. Oh, no, we don't have enough to start the pile off with it. Hmm. I want to fit that 9. I guess we... Fine. We, we spend the 10s to fill these up. And... Got a 13 unlocked. Woo. Get all these 9s in here then. Okay, we're, we're digging down for the 2. Which is my purpose here. Got it. Alright. So was that worth all of the, the, this nonsense that I now have to undo? We're very much getting bottlenecked on the amount of card, the, the slots that we have. 
Mm. Well, we did do this for the two of spades, so let's do that. Got a bunch of threes. Two of diamonds also down here, so let's get it. Two, three. Hopefully clearing out the low numbers will be good. It's a good thing this track is nice to listen to because, wow, this is taking a long time. Got some color issues here where, where all these are the same color, so there's no good way to stack them here. Okay, here we can switch it out, but the 11, 10 still can't get stacked. Neither can this 8. Mm. 5. Mm. Solitary Confinement. Is that going to be a, one of the names for it, by the way? We have a 4 of diamonds here. We should put that on. And hopefully that allows more freedom in how we approach some of this. Mm. We have the 5 of triangles, but... There's too many fives here. I'd like to exchange the fives because I foresee a same suit problem coming up. Mm. I guess we we need to open up a... See, this is the same suit problem. We can fix it like this. Wait, did I accidentally just stack a spade? What did I just do? Uh, but we need this three here. So we can grab this eight now. I do want to get this five of hearts. There you go. Stacked. I guess we do have a five of spades. Uh, but yeah, we want the eights to stack on that other eight. Which is why I was uh, freeing up this eight here. Now we are going to try to get rid of our reliance on this five of diamonds and replace it with a different diamond. Or a different suit with like this five. Okay. And fix the four dupes problem by doing four, four, three like this. Okay, so can we f dig down to here or something? Hmm. Like this is a, like the second column is the one which has our bottlenecks. So maybe we should go down there instead. Eight. Ugh, another 13, although maybe it's good there's a 13. No, no, we can we can stack the 13 fine, just like this. 13. Fortunately, the 12 is still an issue, but great! Censorship, censored poker. <sighs> okay. All right, as, as long as we can dig down to here, this is good. Got another 13. Uh, 12. God, the 12 is still not a bad, good spot at all, huh? Uh, we have a 7 stack that we can attempt to make. Alright, this gives, gives us the three of pawns, which is important. Three here. We can auto- we can use the S button to auto, which seems quite good at this point. We got a nine. Okay, we stack some of the sevens. Almost wish the auto stack was slower. Okay, we got the six of hearts and... Okay, auto stack wins the day. There we go. Alright. I feel like after this, I need to do a video that covers every game, but only takes like one minute and just like quickly explains and time lapses this stuff, because... Uh, can't believe the video is already over like 40 minutes. There's so many variants to get through. Best battle advanced. Goodbye.